Peter Bogdanovich just sent me a script and he said it's really good. It's so good, it's, I probably won't do it, he said, which is interesting. He said, but um, you should, and so should Tatum, who he had never met. And I said, Tatum, I know that name. Oh my God, you mean my daughter? Oh no, oh no, I just got her in school in Arizona, no, no. And he said, I want to see her. her my wife has met her and he said she has a really deep voice. I said, she has a really deep voice, that's true. Deeper than mine. <laughs> and uh, I sent for her, and I told her that uh, she was very unhappy in the school, and I told her that if uh, she got this part, she wouldn't have to go back to that school. <laughs> so she got the part. <laughs> it was just an opportunity to actually leave school and play around and have some fun with my dad. He thought if you could see a movie in two hours, you could make a movie. <laughs> True. That's true. I just one thing that I don't, haven't really said much is that there was a part in the script, and I asked my dad to help me read it. I was still learning to read and everything, and it said that I had to say I love you to him in the movie in this in the script. And I looked at him and I said, I can't say that. They don't want me to say that. Why would I say that? And I wasn't the kind of kid that went around saying I love you to people, and uh, or at least my dad. <laughs> I mean, which little girl wants to say I love you to their dad? But. Uh, well, at least this kid didn't. But anyway, uh, they cut it. And so it, you'll see that I never do say that in the movie. Well, I had made a movie called What's Up, Doc? Uh, yeah. He was a mentor of mine. He was a, uh, he, he was a wonderful uh, raconteur. He could do, I felt anything. If he wanted me for another part, I was happy to do it. I wouldn't even have to read the script. I just trusted him. Uh, I didn't know he wanted my daughter. That was something. I <laughs> and luckily for me, I had somebody that I could uh, watch and listen to who talked to me because uh, I was little. He would always get on his knees to talk to me so that we were always eye to eye so that I didn't have to feel like I was looking up at a grown up, but we were contemporaries. And he would, he would uh, help me to figure out sort of what I was doing in the scene because they were all pretty adult. Um, Situations and I had, you know, done a lot of the stuff that Addy had was doing, and I got to really learn from him, like what I was going through, what it meant, and uh, he was very patient with me, which was wonderful. Uh, I, because I was uh, separated from her mother, and so I only knew her on the weekends. You know, maybe some of the fathers out here know what that's like, weekend fathering. Uh, But uh, we had good weekends together, really good weekends. I thought that maybe if Tatum and I worked on this picture, it might uh, seal our doom or, or our bond, our one doom. or the other. <laughs> <laughs> um, for sure, uh, I loved my dad more than I loved anybody. So it was definitely authentic and real for me to, to want to spend every waking minute, hour, day with him. So. That was easy, um, and uh, he was very, he didn't treat me like a kid either, and we got to do a lot of fun grown-up stuff. And he also treated me like an equal, so that was different and fun. I didn't get talked down to, or so I never grew up thinking that you, that children are children and grown-ups are grown-ups. I just thought we were all the same, and now I want to be a child again. Take me back. Talk a little bit about working with Madeline. Well, she played sort of a nemesis, and everybody kept to the true to their characters somewhat in the for me uh, artistically. So I didn't get to know Madeline as well as I would have liked to off of camera, but um, because she played my dad's girlfriend or somewhat girlfriend, and they were kind of I didn't like her, and I wanted her to be away from him. So I didn't get to during Paper Moon get to know her as well as I would have liked. But I'm a huge fan, and I thought her work in it was spectacular. And in fact, she was nominated alongside with me that year, and uh, you know, so that was interesting as well. That we had to be pitted up against each other at the Academy Awards. Yeah. So I loved working with Madeline, and that's, I wish she was still here. Madeline Kahn and I worked together first on What's Up, Doc. That was her first film. She was spectacular—a natural comedian and a singer and a, and a friend and a, a tremendous loss you know, to us all. You mentioned something, uh, Tatum, and it's um, 
It's amazing when you have two actors or actresses working in the same film that are both nominated, particularly in the same category. You were both nominated for Supporting Actress, and you won the Oscar. What was that like for you at the age of 10? First of all, winning um, the Oscar. Was it something you ever anticipated? And secondly, w were there any concerns about the fact that, well, it's great I won, but Madeline didn't win? Um, again, being nine helped me a lot because I didn't have that kind of adult actress concern that most adult actresses. I didn't fret too much. I didn't know exactly what the Academy Awards were. I didn't understand the meaning of it particularly. I didn't understand how big of a deal it was. Um, so I didn't understand that Sylvia Sidney and, and Linda Blair and and uh, Madeline, you know, what this could mean for their careers. I just knew that it was a big deal and my dad had helped me walk down the podium as though I were gonna get it and we figured out which outfits I would wear and stuff. <laughs> he coached me. And he always said I would win and I never believed that. I just thought, you know, it would be an interesting experience and I was forever, I've been, I've had it for a long time now and I've been forever honored <laughs> to have it. What an honor, it's super grateful. <laughs> And Ryan, for you, having a, a daughter who essentially upstaged you in your own movie. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to talk about this. <laughs> anyway, she's let me get, have the Academy Award. I have it in my room. And <laughs> see. He needed it. He needed it. I did. Okay. Well, he can add it. I'm very, I'm very generous. Well, when I first, I was at a boarding school, and when I first went there, um, I wasn't, I tried a lot of things to be liked, different things that kids do, and I wasn't getting anywhere. However, when I came back and had one, suddenly I had all these friends, and all these people wanted to be my friend, and everybody wanted to be my best friend, and oh my God, I had no idea that doing a little movie would be so, so I couldn't go anywhere and everybody, I was in the, every clique, I thought, wow, this is really fun. And then I just asked my dad to take me out of the school. Because I realized they were all phonies. <laughs> and teach her how to throw a curve because she was going to do Bad News Bears. Yeah. yeah. Any, any thoughts or plans for the future to make another film together? We, our plans are to go back to the hotel. <laughs>